It's Wednesday, November 9th, and time for the Barbados Today Morning Update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernella Wedderburn. The fall in British pound is threatening government's major source of revenue, the valuable tourist dollar. Word of this from Tourism Minister Richard Seeley, who tells Barbados Today at the World Travel Market in London that while arrivals from the lucrative UK market are up, Economic forecasts warn that visitors will be spending less. Since the Brexit vote back in June, the pound has fallen from $3.30 to $2.48. And we're talking Barbados dollars. City says Barbados will be keeping a close eye on the situation and it will take whatever action is necessary to safeguard the island's interests. We're hearing from the governor of the Bank of England, uh, Mark Carney, that they are predicting you know inflation and a decrease in spending power for the BRICS going forward. We also are hearing that even the whole Brexit thing as a result of rulings in the law court has question marks all over it. So there's there, there are elements of political and economic uncertainty in the United Kingdom and we can't uh, get away from that and it means that we just have to work that much harder, stay that much closer to our partners. It also means that some of the approaches that we need to take naturally have to change. I mean, we have our own constraints in Barbados, so it's not that we're gonna to try to throw money at every problem, but you have to be a little creative. Uh, you know, unusual situations may call for unusual responses. There is an appeal for education authorities to fix the environmental problems at Combermay School once and for all. It's coming from the president of the Barbados National Council of Parent Teacher Associations, Sean Gibbs. The plea comes amid reports that a strong stench is again permeating the air at the Waterford St. Michael Learning Institution, resulting in a number of students and teachers falling ill. Gibbs points out that this is not the first time that Combermere has been plagued with such problems. And he says the association is now waiting an update from Monday's closed-door meeting between representatives of the Barbados Secondary Teachers Union and officials from the Ministry of Education on the next move. Sociologist Dr. Veronica Evelyn says gay lifestyles are retarding the island's birth rate. She told a town hall meeting at the Queen's College Auditorium on Monday that explored contemporary threats to the family that the situation was now at a point of no return. Two men cannot have a child. They might be given uh, um, the right to adopt one, but they can't reproduce. Neither can two women, only a man and a woman. So that's the first the first fallout. The second fallout is that mental illness and, and rates of suicide are much higher within that, that homosexual population. So that you are looking at persons that are potentially for your, your, your productive sector, but they're in a mental institution, they are on Ward C4, or they are at the Coral Ridge Cemetery. So that's another fallout. Then economically, well, that's, that's, I think the only thing we have to benefit from saying yes to the sexual rights agenda is money. Police are seeking the public's assistance in identifying two men seen in these photos who are wanted in connection with serious criminal matters. Anyone who can assist in identifying any of them is asked to contact the Oystein's police station at telephone number 418-2608 or 418-2609 or police emergency number 211 or the nearest police station or crime stoppers at 1-800-8477. The men are also advised that they can present themselves to any police station accompanied by an attorney at law of their choice or a family member. There's regional and international news after this short break. Get your paper, get your paper. Only 225, 220. Who? For what? Nice bear still news. I don't read about that from Barbados today since last night. That can only car do. Two twenty, who? The Barbados today news you can trust.
public bank just like Santa Claus. Maisie fix up the kitchen and a new TV we get in. A special time to commemorate. Republic will help you celebrate. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best Bajan Christmas ever with a make it happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old Bajan spooser. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to RepublicBarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. To news from the region now, a cholera vaccination campaign gets on the way in Haiti. The drive, which was launched on Tuesday, is aiming to vaccinate some 820,000 people within a week. One million doses of the vaccine were shipped to the country ahead of the campaign, which is believed to be one of the largest of its kind after a natural disaster. Thousands of health workers will administer the oral vaccine to people in 16 communities in provinces such as Grand Anse and Sud, which were worst hit by Hurricane Matthew. However, experts warn that the vaccine is not a complete solution. They say one dose is about 65% effective for a period of six months. And over in Castries now, where the executive director of the St. Lucia Employment Employers Federation, Joseph Alexander, is welcoming government's 2.5% reduction in the value-added tax, which goes into effect in February 2017. I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. Over the years, we at the Employers Federation have always pushed for that. Um, in fact, it was interesting to hear that the Prime Minister said that um, this reduction will result in an extra $52 million being put in people's pockets. So you know what's going to happen with that. Most of it will be spent. It will circulate through the economy, which is what we believe should, is, um, should have been done quite, for quite some time now. Cutting VAT was a contentious election issue that still draws contrasting views from economic experts. Prime Minister Alan Chastney estimates the 2.5 reduction translates to over EC $50 million in annual income staying in the pockets of the taxpayers. Conversely, the VAT reduction creates a shortfall. I don't think that's all that's going to happen. There must be expenditure. The, the expenditure must be cut. And on the international front, the lengthy legal battle to halt the extradition of notorious Mexican drug trafficker to the United States continues. Lawyers for Joaquin El Chapo Guzman have filed a new appeal by approaching a higher court after their previous appeal was rejected by a judge last month. They argue that if he is extradited, he may face the death penalty in Texas. However, Mexico agreed to the transfer of Guzman in May after the U.S. guaranteed that he would not face the death penalty. Guzman faces many charges in the U.S., including drug trafficking and murder. And on that note, we come to the end of our news update. But for the very latest, visit our website, www.barbidestoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals or Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Good morning.